and welcome or welcome back to Creative Vibes. And today we're gonna go over the PK rib stitch. So this is a beginner friendly stitch. Um, this is gonna be a right hand tutorial. And let me tell you a little bit about the actual pattern. So it's a four row repeat. It's a series of uh, knits and pearls. So it's not reversible, meaning that it's going to look this way on the front side has this pretty pearl pattern here. And then when you flip it over, you're gonna see the actual rib stitching on the wrong side. So it's not gonna look the same, so it's not reversible. So again, it's just a series of knits and pearls, very beginner friendly, so it's gonna be great for those last minute um, scarf projects that you may have in mind before the springtime comes. So you'll just need a ball of yarn, your favorite needles, and come on back and we'll learn how to do the PK stitch. Okay, so now that you grabbed your materials, we're going to start off as we always do with our slip knot. Okay, get that on there. Okay, perfect. So for this pattern, what you'll need to do for casting on is you'll need to cast on in sets of three plus two. And I'll have that written out on the screen. So if you don't know what that means, so it's in numbers of in sets of three, six, nine, 12, so on and so forth. So for this particular um, tutorial, I'm going to cast on 12 stitches. And then you need to add on an additional two after your desired cast on number. So if I'm casting on 12, I'll need to cast on two more. So in total, I'll have 14 stitches on this needle. So let's get that done. But you, for your pattern, you cast on the number that you do, you need to, just make sure they're in multiples of three. So I got one on here so far. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's in my multiples of three. 12, and then I'm going to add on the extra two stitches. So one and two. So we've got that on. I'm a right-handed knitter, so I'm going to move from right to left, and then we can begin row one. So this is a four-row pattern, and we're going to start on row one which is knit two, purl two, and you do whatever within those asterisks until you get to those last two additional stitches that we added on. And then that's just knit those last two. So let's begin. So with yarn to the back, you're going to knit, and then you're going to knit, bring it to the front and then you're going to purl. Start over, yarn to the back, you're going to knit two, knit one, knit two, then you're going to bring yarn to the front and then you're going to purl one. Yarn to the back, knit one, knit two, yarn to the front, purl one. Yarn to the back, knit one, knit two, 
yarn to the front, purl that one. So now we're down to our last two stitches, as you can see. So all we're gonna do is put our yarn to the back, and then we're going to knit those last two stitches. And we're all done with row one. Now for row two, what we're going to do is now have our yarn in the front because we need to purl to K1. Let me just get my yarn in order here. Get our yarn to the front here. We're gonna purl to K1, do whatever's within the asterisk until those last two stitches, one, two, which is going to be purl two. So let's begin that for row two. So needle in, yarn to the front. We're going to purl one. Purl two, bring yarn to the back. Then we're going to knit one. Yarn to the front. Going to purl one, purl two. Yarn to the back, knit one. Yarn to the front, purl one. Purl two, yarn to the back, knit one, yarn to the front, purl one, purl two, yarn to the front, and then we're going to knit. Now you see we're at our last two stitches. So what we're gonna do is bring our yarn to the front and we're going to purl one and then we're going to purl our last one. Okay, just move this needle over, move this to the left hand and we're ready to begin row three. So for row three, the pattern is going to be do whatever's within the asterisk, K2, which is knit two, P1, purl one. Do that up into your last two stitches. And these last two are going to be K2, which is knit two. So this is just the same as you did for row one. So let's begin with knit one, knit one. And we started with the yarn in the back. Bring the yarn to the front and then we're going to purl. Yarn to the back, you're going to knit one, knit two, yarn to the front, you're going to purl. Yarn to the back, knit one, knit one, yarn to the front, then you're going to purl. Yarn to the back, knit one, knit one, yarn to the front, you're going to purl. So now we're down to our last two stitches, as you can see. So our yarn needs to be in the back. So we can knit one, knit two. And we've completed row three. So I'm just gonna switch my needles over and get set up to do row number four. All right, so for row four, it's 
super simple. We need to have our yarn to the back because we're gonna knit all the stitches. So we are very familiar with that at this point. So we're just going to knit, 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 knit. So this is going to be your fastest row here. So you can just flow right through it. So that's all four rows of the pattern completed. So in the beginning, you know, with any pattern, it doesn't really look that great in the beginning, but as you go on, it does all come together. So don't get discouraged. Just going to flip that over to now the right side. And you're ready to begin rows one through four again back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Knit all the way up until your desired pattern, whether you're making a scarf, maybe even a you know fancy dishcloth, however you see fit, but that's how you do the PK stitch. So let me know how that works out for you. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Um, share this with other knitters. Let them um, see the stitch and you guys practice it together. And join me on the next knitting tutorial and happy knitting.